These highlights are produced by Sports Radio 1450 in coordination with WCIA 3 News. Tuesday night basketball, Auburn hosting Plains, the Cardinals, the last unbeaten team in the Sangamo, looking to keep that perfect conference record, and this one was a shootout early. Plains passed it very well on Tuesday. Michael Cameron to Logan Larson to Taylor Staff from the elbow, then Larson up to Braxton Lanier. He avoids the defender to score, but for a season where offense has been brutal all over the area, it was flowing freely in Auburn. Kobe Butler to Lyle Edwards. Butler dishing it beautifully as well. Finds Cooper Eaker moments later. Baseline Jay goes 26 to 21 after just one quarter. Michael Cameron, three threes in the first half though. 18 points to go with it. 49 to 38 planes at the break. We're looking for a hundo here. Second half planes trying to oblige. First three possessions here. Taylor Staff three pointer from the corner is good. And then Cameron just carving up the Trojans in transition. 32 points, game high for Cameron. Seven three-pointers on the night. Staff then on defense, pokes it away. Cameron picks it up, passes it as well as he scores it. Seven to nothing run to start the half for the Cardinals. Finds Lanier for the layup moments later and then hits him for the three on this possession. 14-4 run to start the third quarter and I said they pass it well. Here's an example, count the touches here. Six touches in eight seconds. Alex Gustafson with the lay in to finish it out. 21 points, Plains lead. Auburn had one last run in them. Another pretty pass from Butler. Wes Copeland, a prime time performer nominee, lays it in. And then Butler gonna look at Edwards for the three. The lead was cut to 12, but it was back to 20 in a hurry. Cameron matching Butler, assist for assist, drives, collapses the D. Logan Gebhardt's the beneficiary. And then the last play here, look at the no-look rocket to Lanier, who's cutting baseline. 23 for Brax. No hundo spot, but the Cardinals win it going away, 85-63. to 63. It was an efficient offensive end. I was kind of worried about the defensive end a little bit because the way we're going the first half, it was just like an all-star game going back and forth. We scored 49, but I think we gave up about 41 the first half, something like that. So anyway, we picked up the defense a little bit better the second half. I'm, I'm very pleased with our offense. We shot the ball well. We moved the ball well. It's good because, I mean, we don't have to rely on one person. If one person's off, other guys are on. So, I mean, we got outside shooters and inside, so it's it's helpful. Last game in Alliance Central, we had an off game, and we were lucky to pull out with a win. So. Today, our shots weren't falling either, and today they were. I, yeah, this is the best we shot in a while. I'm always concerned about low. I think we've had a couple of lulls, and, but we've been able to escape them. Like, I think we, you know, just Saturday at uh, Line A Central, it's always tough to play there. They're a good team, and we were lucky to come back and win against them. And I was kind of concerned about tonight and coming to Auburn. You know, they're a good team. They've, been, they've had some good wins this year. You, know, you never know what's going to happen because it's a tough conference, but I was pleased the way we came out and played tonight.